Hey Frank, how's it going? My name is Jose Reyes and we recently spoke on the phone in regards to me recording a short video for you showing you some simple steps on how exactly you can improve your online presence. So let's start started with the video. The three topics I'll be talking about this video will be content, backlinks, and citations. So normally when I start these videos, I do an analysis of the website, but it looks like yours is still available. So pretty much I'll be explaining to you instead what your competition is doing and what kind of results you're getting from doing the things I'm about to show you. So normally I start off with the first topic, which is content. So when it comes to ranking in Google, content is king. So when it comes to content, you want to have around a thousand of content. And a couple of key things about that content is that you want to have keywords in your content. So what exactly is keywords? So I did notice according to your uh, Angie's list profile that you provide services in the uh, Orlando Winter Park area. So for this video, we'll be focusing on the keywords of and speaking Orlando. So what exactly is a keyword? A keyword essentially is a popular phrase that people search on Google for your service. So the keyword of landscaping Orlando has an average search volume of 400 per month with a difficulty of 12. You can see there's many other keywords that you can target, but I want to keep this video short and simple. So let's head over to Google and see what happens when we look for the keyword of landscaping Orlando. So the first thing you see is the ad section, the map pack section, and then the organic listing. So 30% of traffic normally stays on the map pack section and the ad section. The other 70% tends to stay in the organic section. And the reason why your website presence organically is important is because when was the last time you looked up something on Google, one source, second page, third page, etc. Probably never, and if you did, it was a super rare occurrence. It was very important for your website to be at the top of your Google for highly searched keywords like landscape in Orlando. So, first things first, when it comes to ranking on Google, you want to make sure your meta titles and meta descriptions have those keywords. So, so as you can see, I searched up for landscape in Orlando, and a couple things are being highlighted for you too. Landscape Orlando, landscape, landscaping Orlando, which is showing relevance to my search. So now let's head to the website. Off the bat, you can honestly start beating with the content. They don't have a lot of content. I'm um, speaking so to right here. They probably have around 400 words of content in, in their home page. And like I mentioned in the beginning, you want to have around 1,000 words of content in your home page with those keywords in your content. So as you can see, they do have a couple keywords, but not much as well. So, you know, landscaping solutions for the greater Orlando area. Let me look up, search Orlando real quick. So obviously they have their address there with Orlando. They have Orlando a few times in their description, in their titles, etc. Little things like that help you get found by those searches. Now let's go to Landscape Flamingo. So as you can see, their meta title is like those keywords I was showing you earlier. Landscaping Company Orlando. So as you can see in their content, they're using the word keywords of commercial clients in Orlando, residential clients in Orlando and other ones like operating in Orlando. And the important about things about this is the reason why you want to have a thousand words of content is if you add the, to the word Orlando too much, it can actually penalize you. But by having a thousand words of content, you can, you're can you able to add the word Orlando more frequently without seeming that you're stuffing the words in your content, which Google does, does not like. Another way of having key, uh, keywords in your content is by saving your images under those keywords. So right now, if I try to save this background image, in the website, save as. You can see they save their image on their landscaping company Orlando, right? So that's definitely helping them get found by those searches. So when it comes to ranking on Google, content is king. However, it is not the only influential factor. The other influential factor that helps you rank on Google is backlinks. Once again, we're using my tool. I know your website is not up, but um, I was able to get some data. It looks like you have five backlinks. So why exactly is a backlink? So a backlink essentially is a clickable link that once you click on it, it will take you to your, to your website. As a result of that happening, the website where the link is put at tries to do over power. So this is where it comes from, the domain rating and the URL rating. That's where the power comes from, from those websites. So let me show you what a backlink is, backlink is looking through. So right here, this is a backlink. And once I click on it, bam, takes me to your site. Now, 
let's go to your competition, which is Chase LP Outdoors. Once again, their backlinks are not too good, but they have around 146 backlinks from 57 different websites. And they're currently generating about 330 organic traffic from, from this keyword. This tool is great because if I click on it, it tells me all the keywords they're ranking for, which help, makes my research easier. So their top keyword is landscape in Orlando. Uh, the top one is Orlando landscaping, landscape in Orlando, etc. You get the idea. Same thing with uh, Flamingo Landscapes. It's not too good. They have 34 la uh, backlinks coming from 17 different websites. They're currently generating about 320 organic traffic per month. Let's see where it's coming from. So it's mostly coming from landscape in Orlando. So they're getting about 210, which is really amazing. Alrighty, let's see, let's go back over here. So one last thing about backlinks, the most important thing, as you can see right here, quality over quantity, just because you have more does not mean that it's better. So make sure those links where they're coming from, make sure the sites are high ranking uh, with these tools in order for it to transfer the good power and not bad power. So let's head over to the last topic, which is citations. So when it comes to ranking on the top three of Google Maps, there's many influential factors, but the main one that helps you uh, influence your ranking the most is citations. So the citation essentially is websites, directories like you know Facebook, Yelp, Angie's List that has your business name, business address, and business phone number. And when all that matches your Google business profile, uh, it can consider a citation and Google will consider you trustworthy the more you have. Um, so. Like I said, there's many other influential factors, but if you do those things I mentioned in this video, you should be able to start seeing some difference in your online presence. Well, already, Frank, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out back to me, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.